first of all, I'd just like to introduce myself. So, I'm John Kelly, I'm the Centre Manager of the National Construction Training Centre in Mount Lucas. Uh, it's based between Dangan and Edenderry in County Offaly. Um, I am also part of the Leash Offaly ETB, um, and we're kind of, if you like, an umbrella group attached to that. Um, as part of Leash Offaly ETB, I, I work under the training service. So we also offer apprenticeship training, uh, community training, and in community we run the LTIs, which is the local training initiatives, uh, SDPs, which is the national learning networks. We have two centres in Leash, and offer one and two more, one in Leash. And the third element is the um, sorry, the CTC, the Community Training Centre in Tullamore also. Uh, contract to train is the next element. I'll talk about that further in the presentation. And then the area with the big highlighted arrows is where I come in, Mount Lucas. So Mount Lucas formerly was the FOSS Training Centre. And we've taken responsibility, Leash Offaly, uh, from the 1st of January 2016. So as you can see on the map there, we're ideally located in the centre of the country. Um, we're about 20 minutes from the M4 or the M7, so no matter what direction you go, you'll pick up a main national road very quickly. Right, so in Mount Lucas itself, what we actually currently offer is these three elements. We have the CSCS tickets, which is your uh, construction skill certificate scheme. In other words, your cards to drive a machine. So whether it's a 360 excavator, a telehander, a site dumper, arctic dumper, we do them all in Mount Lucas. So the construction plant, the 12 items oh, uh, that you see there. The second element is what's called a HS&E test, which is a health, safety and environmental test. We're a CITB approved centre, so what that means is that we can um, offer a transfer system of the Irish cards uh, to the UK equivalent so that they're recognised over there. So a lot of Irish companies do an awful lot of work in the UK particularly so that they can transfer those skills across. Um, and I'll talk about them a little bit further. So the CSCS to CPCS is the transfer of the actual plant items. So we also offer those inside. So like I said, we're a CITB approved centre. So in 2014, as part of the mutual recognition pro uh, process between UK and Ireland, uh, specific re requirements were introduced for each skill uh, before you could change over. Uh, Mount Lucas caters for all three. So up until then, if you had an Irish card um, and you wanted to recognise it in the UK, all you had to do was bring your card with you. That was stopped and now what you have to do is get recognition of your Irish skills card and then you can transfer it across. So the, the three things that we do is, the first thing is a CPCS uh, skills interview. As part of the skills interview, you sit down one-to-one -one with our in-house instructor. It's basically to put them at ease and to see if what they have on paper stacks up in a quick interview. So it's a couple of short questions on their experience, their background and um, their qualification. Once they do that, they complete the second thing, which is the technical theory test. And then the last thing they need, which is the hs &E test, which I said before is the equivalent of the UK Safe Pass. Um, this is a picture of our test room on site, so we can, we can test two participants at the same time uh, for the HS, the Health, Safety and Environmental Test. Um, as a comparison, if you're doing your uh, provisional driver's test, it's very similar. It, there's a bank of questions that we have on site, and when you do the test, random set comes up, and you have to, there's 40 questions come up, and you have to get at least 37 right. The test is 45 minutes long. It can be short. It all depends on when you press the send button to say that you're happy with your test. Um, like the provisional test, there is a bank of questions, so they have access to that. And it's a CITB program, so you can download an app. All the questions are on the app, and then if you study enough, you pass every time. Unfortunately, not everyone studies and arrive in the day assume they know everything about health and safety on construction sites. So that's why our pass rate is at 73%. Our pass rate for anyone who studies is 100%. Uh, the other thing about the test, it can be administered in any time, in any language, and it's really user friendly. The other thing I'd say about it is we also can offer audio. So for anyone who has any literacy issues, there's an audio and a touchscreen um, option with it. Uh, which makes it really user friendly and uh, very straightforward. So anyway, you just ring up the centre and book in the test. So anyone who's heading to the UK, either with an Irish contractor or heading to the UK to look for a job, um, that's your basic passport there to get on site. 
Uh, that's current provision. What I'd like to talk about now is future provision. So uh, current provision is the three items outlined. The CSCS, the 12 plants items are going to continue. The transfer system from the CSCS card to the CPCS, the UK card is going to stay in place and then the HS and E test, the UK equivalent, will stay as well. But the, the other wing is the contract to training. So this is um, an area that we're using basically. We don't have the in-house expertise, but luckily what we can do is we can buy in those expertise to provide training um, to address gaps in the market or basically to look at the unemployment figures of Leach and Offaly in particular and surrounding counties and how we can address those gaps. So what is contracted training? Well effectively contracted training, it's a fast, responsive and it's the most innovative form of delivering training. Like I said, we don't have expertise across the construction centre within Leach Offaly GB, so we're not going to try reinvent the wheel when there's people out there that can, uh, can actually do the training for us. So what we do is um, we use this tool to um, upskill and to retrain. So, Leash Offaly, just to give you an example of figures, we've heard a lot of figures today. 60,000 is the figure that the uh, construction industry have said they need to fill the gap. In Leash Offaly alone, in the category of 18 to 35 year olds, 34% of, of, of that um, profile are unemployed. And of that 34%, over 40% 40, over 40 of those people are ex-construction. So in other words, there's a market there ready to tap into that hopefully we can upskill with a bit of training and get them back in at the entry level. There are gaps all across construction. What we're aiming at at the minute is to target the semi-skills trade where we've been told that there's gaps there. So it's number one is to meet the needs of the unemployed people of Leash and Offaly and surrounding county, uh, counties. So our catchment areas, Leash, Offaly, bits of Longford, Westmead, um, and then Kildare. It all depends on how far we can get people to travel to us. The second thing is to meet the needs of industry. So we're in consultation with different members of the construction industry um, to see, to get their input and advice on, on what, what we're looking for and what the industry is looking for. And once we have that, we'll go away, do our homework and come up with a plan that suits us and the people of Leach and Offaly particularly and the surrounding counties. Uh, and then the third thing, it's a fle flexible alternative to adapt to an ever-changing environment. The training that we provide this year is for this year. The training we provide for next year or provide next year will be for next year. So we'll be looking at everything annually to see where the gaps are. If it's a long term project it could be a three year plan and other than that then we, we um, renew everything annually or review everything annually. So um, the new er areas that we've identified for t the rest of 2016 and 2017 so far are two, two um, areas. The first one is introduction to construction, I'll talk about that in a second. And then the second one is construction skills for employment with, a, with an emphasis on former. Uh, yeah, so, so the introduction to construction, within Leash and Offaly there's five centres um, that are combined with Youth Reach and the CTC that I spoke about, the Community Training Centre that's based in Tullamore. So what we've started is, uh, it started last week, it's a pilot uh, summer programme for Youth Reach and uh, the Community Training Centres. At the end of the summer, these, these are Youth Reach, for anyone who's unaware, are students that didn't cut the mainstream, either for one reason or another, they left or they fell out and we're, we've, been, we've picked them up again. So uh, in the summer programme, some of the tutors are on holidays, they're not available, so the summer programme is very far sparse. So what we've tried to do is identify something that we can tap into that market and possibly train these uh, kids up to try enter the construction market or at least give them an option of seeing what it's like. So it's a, seven, it's a short programme, it's seven weeks, it's a sitting uh, Guilds Accredited programme uh, for the new Reach and CTC students. On the program, the first thing, the emphasis is always on health and safety. Um, so, health and safety, they cover the safe pass, manual handling and brace of wheels. And as regards to practical content, which is a paramount importance to, to the students who, who aren't academically based or focused, but are very well equipped to deal um, with any kind of training that is practically based. So the four areas are tiling, basic concreting, setting out and levelling and paving. And we feel that this is a taster programme and for anyone who wants to follow on to the second programme, this will be a gateway to that. So we'll identify and they'll, um, once they turn up and try their best, if they show the interest, they'll learn on the job, they'll get plenty of practical training and then they can apply for the second programme. 
so the, sec the second program, again, it's a pilot program. It's something that we're, we're trying. We spent an awful lot of work on this program. This program was first started um, in early 2016. Um, it involved a visit to the UK. It involved an awful lot of consultation with the CIF and with other their relevant partners in the industry. Um, it's based on the City and Guilds program, and it actually is the, the UK equivalent of the NBQ, uh, which is a level two. And in in Ireland, as we, if you want to put it down as a FETAC qualification, it's a level four. So FETAC level four, it's like um, a shorter apprenticeship version that they offer in the UK. So we're going to apply that here in Ireland, and the program is broken up into uh, four different areas. The first, it's a 26-week program, so it's on the job and off the job, so it's a bl blended learning program. The first eight weeks is practical training and theory, so within that, they cover, like I said, um, health and safety is paramount, so we'll cover all the health and safety, uh, safe pass, manual hand and abrasive wheel, all those kind of areas. We'll also tap into the mobile, mobile elevated work platforms, we'll also look at um, basically construction site readiness. So in other words, after the eight weeks, these people will be well able to go out and um, start on a construction site. So on week nine, they go for their eight weeks of training, and that starts um, with the subcontractors mostly dotted around the country, and as part of that, they'll be mentored. So they'll have someone side by side, showing them the basics, getting them well prepared, um, introduction to all the groundwork, bits and pieces, and then when they come back for their third set of eight weeks, that's when the, the real emphasis on form work begins. So in Mount Lucas, Mount Lucas by nature is a simulated work environment. So in other words, when we do the CSCS training, we have a, we have a ramp, we have a cordon off racking area for telehandler, we have digging areas for the 360 excavator. So everything we have is done to the letter of the law. And once you walk in, if you don't have a hard hat or, or high vis, or anything, you won't get on our site because we operate as if we are a fully functional work site. So it'll be exactly the same. We also have a, a large construction hall out the back, which is uh, going to be used for their on-the-site uh, training. So that would be a simulated work space. They do all their training there. And then at the end of that, we have a two-week transition to work. And that's basically to allow for, if anyone has failed an exam in that two weeks, they can go and get the repeats done. If it's a thing that adapting to hopefully going straight into full-time employment, we'll get them ready, a bit of career guidance, a bit of training that's needed there. All that will be covered in that two-week program. Um, so basically, it's just an insight. That's what we're working on at the minute. So it was kind of last minute to come here, but I just felt a presence here might be worthwhile. Um, and we're working with the CIF, we're working with the industry, we're working with all the relevant partners to try develop new programs that will um, address the needs of the market. So Formwork is where we're at the minute. We're also looking after our own needs of Leash Offley with the Youth Reach Introduction to Construction program, and that's going really well at the minute. So we'll review both programs on completion, and then we'll We'll tinker with them if we have to, um, but if anyone wants to contact me, whether it's for training or any kind of ideas down the line, um, there's my number there. I have cards here if anyone has any further questions. Okay.